this is my Super 12 Sears. I've had it about 10 years. When I got it, it had this mower deck on it. This is a little bit newer deck. I believe this is the deck that was supposed to be on there. It's it's a little more rectangular. It's got a 12 horse Tecumseh. I just got buzzed by a bee. Yeah, the bees. I kind of hear them. I don't see them, but the uh, starter has a bad connector. So I've just been using the rope to pull start it. But the motor runs good and I've been I mowed my yard with it once this year. Uh, but I have uh, used it like I said I've had it about 10 years and I've used it most of the time, sometimes I get a different tractor, I get it running, I'll mow with that. <clears throat> That's a Sears Custom 10XL. It did not come with a deck, but I picked that deck up. I believe that's a deck for it. That one has a manual three-point hitch on the back. It's a light-duty three-point. And then right here is a Sears 16.6 twin. That has an Onan. Um, I've got a deck for that in one of my other sheds. I have had that engine running and uh, does not smoke or knock. However, the vacuum operated fuel pump does not work the best. And then you can see the grill has been damaged got the wooden board repair which is pretty common on those sears. There you can see the manual three-point lift on the custom. There's a Bolins 816. It's hydro hydrostatic lift Tecumseh 16 horse overhead valve engine. When I got it I, I had a deck and a blower for it. I believe I still have the deck. I sold the snowblower. The, uh, it does not have any compression at all. I don't know if you can see through the grill. That originally had a small ring gear starter, like this engine. But the previous owner, the starter must have went bad. So he bolted a starter generator on there and he bolted a solid plate to the flywheel and then he bolted a pulley to the plate. The problem was he only left about an eighth of an inch, if that, of gap between the plate and the shroud on the engine. So he basically choked off all the airflow to the engine and I believe he overheated it and dropped a valve or burned up a head or something. Maybe even melted the piston, who knows. But I do have another engine that runs. It's a 16 Tecumseh overhead valve that I'll replace it with. That right there is a Sears HydroTrack 12. I've had that one running. It needs a different gas tank. It's got a just a kind of a generic power unit, rectangular tank in it right now. It doesn't, uh, the inlet doesn't match the hood opening. But that's hydro, it's got wheel, cast iron wheel weights, tire chains. I have driven it some, but uh, I should I have a, actually I think this deck here will work on that tractor. And then here's my, uh, I think it's a simplicity, it might be Alice Chalmers Power Max. This has a four-cylinder, 30-horse Wisconsin engine sitting on it right now. 
uh, previous owner had lengthened the frame and had a 30 horse Wisconsin V4 in it and uh, he had a dozer blade that he built for plowing snow he ended up blowing his engine up and he pulled the motor and the, and the plow and he kept that I ended up buying the tractor and I had this engine laying around so I'm going to eventually get that motor mounted in there, but i got to fix the starter first. But uh, the guy threw the hood and the, the hood away in the gas tank because he didn't use them with the other setup. So I'll probably mount the gas tank somewhere back there, put the battery where the gas tank was. But uh, that'll be another one of my projects. I've got a lot of projects. Here's my Simplicity 3012. This is a uh, Sovereign. This is 12 horse Briggs hydraulic lift. This one has a 48 inch deck. And uh, I haven't run it in probably a year. But the tires keep going flat on it, so I got to fix the tires up. But the motor does run good. Uh, usually after it sits a year or so, I have to clean the points. But it's got the rear lift. And this is the Vickers. It, uh, this is a three-speed with the variable drive. And uh, this is the dozer blade I have for that one. This is the 48 inch deluxe blade. I got the handle for it. This one you can adjust the angle of the blade from the tractor seat manually. You don't have to get off. This is a rotor tiller for Alice Chalmers or a Simplicity. The older Broadmoors, like the 5000. 8, 5010, 728, 7, I think seven, uh, 628. This is a dozer blade for a Bolens. The uh, G and H XTXL series. But, uh, that's just uh, some more of the tractors I got to work on. And I got Alice Rotobaler back there. Alice mounted corn pick planter. I got a couple snow blowers, more decks. But uh, hopefully I'll get some of these fixed up yet this summer. But uh, stay tuned. Maybe you'll see them running. Thanks, and uh, subscribe to my channel, please. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.